I was 15 on the 29th of December, 1948. And I started work after Christmas. I don't remember ever having an interview. I think it was because my dad was there, my sister was on the pit row as well. It was automatic. Pit row lass was a girl who picked the dirt from the coal because it wouldn't burn, so that it just had to be pure coal that went into the wagons underneath. I got the princely sum of £1.50 per week. In those days, you had to tip up to your mother, and she gave me 12 and a half piece spending money. There were one or two accidents below ground when I was there, because the hooter used to go, and you knew when that hooter went. There was something wrong down the pit. I've seen them bring two men up. One lad had to have a steel plate put into his head. It was so badly hurt. There was a, a man in disaster, and I remember that one. And he was an engine driver, and he was pulling the wagons, and the ground subsided, and the train went down with him and it's still there. I think a lot of people would change their mind about the mine as if they went down one. Because some of them used to work more or less naked. They were so hot. Used to put Vaseline on your eyelashes so that pit dirt would come out easier. Your fingers used to split at the top and you used to have to put snow fire ointment on. Still loved it though. It's the best working time, but the the camaraderie is, it was fabulous. You went to Blackpool on the train, and you went to Pablo's Cafe for ice cream. Tried to bring it home, but it all melted when you got home. <laughs> we used to play in the fields, and all the adults used to play round us in the fields with us. I can't believe that we've got food banks, even though I was born while the war was on. I could never, ever, ever say I was hungry. You know, there wasn't the shortage of jobs like there is now. You just left school and started work. It was just a good community all the time. They're talking about opening another mine somewhere, so I've put my name down for the pit road. 